whether you're just starting out with Google Ads or if you're struggling to get any sales with your campaign set up, this video is for you. This is the exact strategy I would use to make my first 10K again on Google Ads. Now, just before we do jump into it, if you are struggling with Google and you want someone else to take over and run it for you successfully, I will leave a link down below to AdRaw, my Google Ads agency. The link will be in the top of the description for that. Now, my journey with Google Ads started about five years ago and luckily I was profitable from the get-go. As advertising naturally is getting more expensive on every single platform, there's more competition. In 2024, it is very difficult to get started with Google and find success quickly, which is leading to many people, many business owners, just burning through cash, seeing little to no return from their setup. Now, there are a number of reasons why you probably aren't seeing results with Google, and they will be covered throughout this video as I explain my strategy. But one thing I can't stress enough is not everything works for the same business on Google. Every ad account behaves differently every type of business behaves differently so it really is a case of just testing many things yourself and seeing what works for your business but for mine and for some of my clients who are just starting out as well this is the strategy that I adopt and put to use and it really does help bringing those conversions at an early stage without wasting any budget now this setup is for e-commerce businesses run on Shopify or any other platform that sell actual physical products not lead gen or anything like that I can cover that in a separate video so the first thing I want to mention here is standard shopping and yes in 2024 standard shopping still is incredibly successful just jumping quickly just to show you in my UK business Google ad account you can see in the last seven days up here the campaign that has spent the most is standard shopping you can see it's the highest spending campaign it's achieved a really good 2.7 row ads which is very profitable for this particular product category so if you're stressing about Pmax and why it's not working for you this could be the route to go down and you know this is mixed with Pmax campaigns as well these two campaigns or these three campaigns below it are also performance max campaigns they perform very well as well but these are better for not established businesses but established google ad accounts which have that conversion data within them as it does rely heavily on that for the machine learning process so standard shopping could be the route here so let me explain how exactly i would set this up if you're just starting out or if you are struggling now the route i'd go down is simply standard shopping campaign for all of your products you don't need to split them into categories yet in different ad groups just have one standard shopping campaign one ad group manual cpc as your bid strategy i usually don't run this campaign on the google search network and i would avoid other bid strategies like maximize clicks because a lot of people and a lot of new people to google think okay let's use maximize clicks because it's going to get me the most traffic and the most traffic surely means the most sales completely incorrect maximize clicks is in the name it's maximizing the clicks not conversions not anything else just clicks and to put it bluntly comparing it to the traffic you might get from manual cpc or a target roas bid strategy maximize clicks really is the bottom tier and the worst type of traffic you could generate uh, and bring to your business because it's very low converting and let's just say there's a reason those clicks are incredibly cheap compared to something like I said in a target ROAS or manual CPC bid strategy campaign so I would personally avoid maximize clicks and go with the manual CPC now that's not to say you're going to be paying 10 times more in a manual CPC campaign this setup here ensures you're not paying too much per click and it ensures you're not wasting your budget so I'm on the Google keyword planner here as an example i usually use this or gym a uh, gym business as an example but we're going to go pizza ovens let's say you're selling pizza ovens for your business now the two columns you want to be looking at here is the low range and high range of top of page bid so with your manual cpc campaign you will need to choose a bid for each product and instead of completely guessing what you need to bid for each product simply search a few keywords related to your product in the keyword planner make sure you select up here the correct country if you're selling in the us you want to change this to us etc now yes you can bid up on this high range here but you're obviously going to be paying more per click and this strategy really is for those people and those businesses that don't want to burn through cash and want to be very conservative and have a much lower risk with this strategy and like i said this this is how i started on my businesses with google many years ago it still works today because i use it for other clients as well so let's say i'm selling a pizza oven i've put it in a manual cpc campaign I'm gonna to wanna to set the bid anywhere sort of three to five P or cents higher than the minimum page bid here. So 24 P you can see is the low range bid. I would go in and set the bid for my product at about 28p to begin with now this will need testing and you will need to give it some time sometimes you'll find it won't get any impressions or clicks with the bid you set so you will obviously need to gradually increase that bid or sometimes even if you bid very low around this number here you may find you get instantly a lot of impressions and clicks and it's just not driving conversions 
at that stage you then lower the bid again so this isn't an exact figure but it's a good guideline on what to go to and what to begin setting your CPC at for each product in terms of allowing time don't be changing your bid multiple times a day or every single day of the week once you set a bid at leave it at least I'd say three days before you make any changes now personally I'm not too strict on increases and decreases by percentage you know some people might like to say okay you can't really increase a bid more than 20% for me if it feels right and you want to go from let's say 25p up to 45p because you're getting no impressions and clicks then go ahead and do that there's no reason to not to so just bear that in mind if you find yourself in that situation with this and like I said at the start a lot of people might be burning through cash for Google because they're using the wrong bid strategies and things like that it might just be a simple case of you trying this strategy you're limiting that cost per click and you're essentially getting hyper focused traffic based on the search terms for your products and like I said this strategy was profitable for me straight away I was getting a profitable ROAS right from the get-go and it still does work for my clients today but like I said it isn't guaranteed for every business it's just a strategy worth testing if you are struggling now hopefully soon after you've set this up you'll begin to scale your daily budget your bids are a lot higher than you know when they started and eventually you'll want to start to pull products out of this campaign into their own either single product campaigns or I like to have uh, campaigns dedicated to a specific product category and doing so allows you to keep this standard shopping campaign as almost a testing campaign for new products coming in and when products are outperforming everyone else you can then take them out of this put them into their own campaigns and scale them even further with other campaign types, you know, like performance max, other bid strategies like target ROAS. So that is the route I would go down next after this. So there's almost two options here. Let's say you've got a winning product. Option one would be to take it out of this manual CPC standard shopping campaign, put it into another standard shopping campaign on its own, or if it's part of a product category, just put the entire category in there. I would then go in a target ROAS bid strategy. So then you're actually bidding for the conversion. Now, let's say you have already achieved a three ROAS with this product in the manual CPC campaign. I personally wouldn't go and put it in a standard shopping on its own target ROAS and set it to 300%. Yes, your product has proven it can achieve that in this campaign, but I would start the ROAS a bit lower, you know, perhaps around 200% and then gradually scale it up. So then you're attracting more traffic straight away. You're still going to be profitable, but then as you increase that target ROAS over time, maybe once every two weeks or so, you'll eventually get to a point where you're target ROAS is 300 maybe 400% it's spending well and getting you those profitable conversions at any point if your campaign spend drops drastically with the target ROAS bid strategy simply just reduce that target ROAS goal not by a huge amount for example if it's 400 go down to 350 leave it for a while it should adjust and bring more traffic and increase that spend again so that would be option one option two is to put it into a performance max campaign something I would prefer for a product category that way you can have a load of assets such as images, videos, headlines, all related to that single category. You can drive people to you know, your collection pages for that specific collection. So essentially just pile loads of content into this PMAX campaign. And again, I would use a target rise bid strategy for this as well. It is just a different campaign type than obviously just the standard shopping and allows you to branch out past the shopping network into things like display and search. One thing I wouldn't do is do a feed only PMAX campaign because you are going to be missing out on search display and those other areas of Google, which might not seem interesting to you. But from my experience the search aspect of pmax performs equally if not better than the shopping so essentially it'd be a complete waste just to run a feed only pmax because if you're doing that you may as well just run a standard shopping campaign so that is something to bear in mind you can start that with maybe five asset groups with different images and things like that i've talked about it before you can use the insights tab in your pmax campaign it will give you search terms that are performing well. It will give you in-market audiences and different segments that you can then go and test in the PMAX campaign itself to help it scale further as well. And one final thing here that is a must for all Google Ad accounts, and it's pretty self-explanatory uh, going back to my UK business here. You can see this campaign here is my brand search campaign. Very low budget. You may even want to start this out at $5 a day or £5 a day. Very self-explanatory, exact match keywords for this that are simply your brand name so let's say your brand is Gymshark you would have your search terms as Gymshark uh, Gymshark discount code Gymshark shipping Gymshark you know returns policy and things like that that way you're certain to appear at the top of Google as a search ad for your own brand name and because if you don't and your brand grows 
trust me your competitors will start to bid on your name and appear and take that traffic from you so it's just something to have running in the background again a very low budget but it will get you the best ROAS out of any campaign because it is hyper targeted it is the warmest traffic you're going to get to your store from an ad and you can see compared to all my campaigns it's got a six row as in the last seven days which outperforms everything else so i hope this has been fairly easy to follow if you've got any questions please do leave a comment down below but this is the most budget friendly strategy to get things going with google and help you achieve that first ten thousand dollars in sales and the more conversion data that builds in your account and the easier it gets trust me but i can't stress enough please leave google to do its thing don't change things every day it will just completely mess it up and that might be a reason why you're not seeing any results so thank you all for watching like i said if you need any help or want us to manage it for you i'll leave a link to my google ads agency in the description down below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video